obviously we're just speaking about rice and you know you said about how Sullivan's gonna hold out for the 100 million plus fee mm -hmm. um I mean do you think that 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 could cause problems for a potential deal or do you think someone one team whether it's Arsenal Man City uh, whoever will pay it I think they're 80 million at the moment or something you know, they're, they're bidding just... I, I don't think they start for another week or so, do they? Ask yeah. Us. And what's going to happen this week? Because they'll want them. Whoever wants, whoever's taking them will want them at pre-season. Yeah. You know, they'll want them. The only problem is he'll be, he'll be later because he's in England squad. And, so they have a week extra, don't they? So there's, an, there's another 10 days before the pre-season starts for the English players. Or not the English players, but the English internationals. You know, mm -hmm. so they've got that to, to get them in because they want them in right to the beginning. To yeah. get them in, you know, because you know, it's, it's a great bombing. You go away, you go on trips, you go on wee tours, pre season tours. That's a great bonding for all the new players. Mm -hmm. So that's what they want. They want that. You know, they will want that. They want them in. So we'll wait and see. I think the next week to 10 days is going to be interesting. Yeah. A lot of movement, I imagine. Be an interesting one. Um, yeah, and we've obviously, you know, spoken about potential outgoings at West Ham. We spoke about Skamaka the other week. Um, yeah. He could potentially still stay at West Ham, even though the likes of Roma are, are interested. But would you be surprised if he were to, to be at West Ham I, next season? It depends who's... Yeah, I think so, because... Is it Abraham... Uh, Tammy Abraham's injured in it at Roma, that's why they're wanting him. Mm. Uh, and I think he would want to go there because he's not going to get a game to him. Unless you bring I mean, they brought in Ings and Antonio Stout, <laughs> the number one. And, and he's the top goal scorer with what, 13 goals or something. Yeah. How many goals he had, but it's incredible. You know, West Ham should be scoring, Strikers should be scoring 20 plus. Uh, but it's not happening, and I don't know why. It's under David, they became an counter attacking team, and Antonio is good at that because he's strong and he holds the ball up. But Skamaka just wants to feed off drops, you know, somebody drops the ball or somebody the ball comes across the box, he's a striker, he'll score mm -hmm. goals, and so lings. Antonio won't do that, so he's more of David's kind of player to hold the player up. and use his weight and strength to hold the ball. And that's what West Ham had become, a counter-attacking team. Um, sometimes it's all right, but can't do that all the time, you know. But, it, but I just think it's a crying, crying shame with the players that West Ham's got. They've got to be a forward-thinking team, you know. And you look at them, I mean, some of the, the pass way, Paqueta in the, in the conference, that pass was inch perfect, you know. And, and that's the kind of players that West Ham have got, so... Me, I would try and utilise that. And I, I think there's a good combination for getting it right, good letting them go and play football and getting it tight. You know, but you've got to have a little bit of leeway and let some of these great players go and show their talents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I hope David does that this year. So we'll see. Yeah. I, I would imagine Skamaka will want to go because he's not going to game. Engs will want to go because he, he went there trying to get a game and he's <laughs> not he's managed not, it. He's not managed it because it's the way they play that it's not it's not for him. Yeah. You know, he's not one of these players that will hold the ball up, you know, to bring in other players in. Um you get certain players like Tony Cotty couldn't but my state partner, he couldn't do that. You know, I could play my own, but Tony couldn't he feeds off scraps. I think that's what Ings and Skamaka do and if you're not getting these scraps then what's the point? So it's a strange one. So I think the two of them will want a, bit, a move. And they'll want to bring an our striker and who can fill the, fill the boots, you know, when Antonio's not playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, and just speaking of Paqueta, actually, um, mm -hmm. supposedly Newcastle are readying an offer of around the 60 million mark for him. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you just were talking there about, you know, how talented of a player he is. Do you think mm -hmm. that they could be convinced to let him go. I hope he's just coming on to his game. I don't think he enjoys yeah. I don't think he enjoys I don't know. Some of the times he'd come off and he's, he's got a face like a, 
you know, <laughs> so you think which you can't read them then on the teams, you know, celebrating and enjoying it. There's a couple of Brazilians in the Newcastle team, in there, and I think he would enjoy it there because they play the kind of football that he wants to play. They play the kind of football West Ham used to play. So, but you can't argue with what Davis, which, you know, in a bad season, but he's got them in Europe three times in a row. Um, so that's what's given David the grace. But as for, it's a long, hard season, and it's a long, hard season to watch the kind of football. Some of the football that it's been played, sometimes it's been great, Salah. And mm -hmm. you think, my thing is you're out every week. Yeah. Um, so I would think if, if, if there was an offer coming to the table and they said to, to Paqueta, would they go? I think he would go to Newcastle because they're again on the way up. Mm -hmm. And they're going to go and win things. They're, they're definitely going to go and win things, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely. That would be an interesting one. Well, the, how he plays the football he wants to play. Yeah. You know, and you get different managers, different ways of playing. So, you know, I'm delighted we got Paqueta, but I don't mm. think he likes that kind of football. Yeah, I get you. We'll see, I suppose. As 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 we always say with transfers, yeah. we'll we'll oh. find out. We'll find out soon enough. Find out soon enough. Yeah. yeah exactly. Um, sure, we'll have yeah. Another of the uh, other people writing about things and exactly and like, rumors flying about yes exactly yes. um i mean a comeback <laughs> <laughs> i hope that would be true yeah i thought that would be true i'd pay good money i'd pay good money yeah i would take that just yeah. <laughs> take it <laughs> um yeah just uh, a couple more things before we finish up um i think we've possibly spoken before about west ham's interest in scott mctominay yeah. Um, it's around about the 30 million mark price wise. Do you think they would, West Ham would pay up if they wanted him? I think he's a decent player, isn't he? I, I just I don't think he's a Man United player. Yeah. I think he's a decent player, and so is Maguire. If he was to come to West Ham, uh, Tommy, yeah, I think he's. I think he was sitting there and do a mm -hmm. Declan job. I, I, I don't think it'd be a, one problem. With him sitting in there, um, I can see him in there with Sushek and Paqueta, you know, that's the three in the middle, and Bowen and Benrama, you know, that'd be the, you know, or whoever, but you just, it's, it's one of them, again, it's talk, but McTominay's not going to get a game, he's not going to get a red yeah. game, in it. and I think that boy's going to want to go and play football, he's going to play week in and week out, and I don't think you'll get that Man, Man United. Especially mm -hmm. when they bring players in, isn't they? They're going to bring decent, a half decent amount of players in, so that's, he's going to be further down the line. So, and, and he, always, he always does a job for them when he comes in, nothing spectacular. And then he goes to Scotland and he's spectacular. Yeah. Um, I think he'd be a good player for, for, for West Ham, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It would be good to see him getting kind of back to. Yeah, I suppose Scotland level, you know, and because he'd be, he'd be one of the top players, and, and he would, uh, you know, he'd be, he would get a game every week. That's for sure, and, he, and he's quite, the big lot legs, and he's he's quite good yeah. at breaking, breaking from midfield to, to help the strikers. So I think he, he would be everything David Moyes would, would want, you know. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see how that one goes. Out yeah, again. definitely. Um. Yeah, and just lastly, supposedly there's um, restrictions on West Ham this summer due to financial fair play, as you know we often see with with teams in the Prem. Um, do you think that that's that's going to be a big worry? You know, if they've got these restrictions on on but, spending this summer. Which restrictions? I don't know about that. Uh, supposedly, they can. I think they're only able to spend what they earn on transfers if that makes sense so they kind of have to balance well, the book 100 million for race so that means you can spend 100 million i don't think there's there's not uh, there's not any universe that david sullivan's going to spend 100 million <laughs> in the transfer market so wouldn't worry about that i wouldn't worry about that <laughs> so, yeah um i wouldn't worry about that so if they're bringing in that and they'll get a couple more a couple more will be moving out the door so there's yeah. only 140 million or something 
120, 30 million. I wouldn't worry. Plenty. About yeah, plenty. Yeah. If they would spend half that, I'd be delighted. Mm hmm Yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. We'll see, as, as, as we say, as we say about everything, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we can just talk about it and it's not happening to see how it goes. But yeah, I know. An interesting one. Yeah. I know it's always quite disappointing when things, you know, get confirmed and you can't I know, wonder but, about it anymore. <laughs> I mean, I can't even understand why anyone in football would think well, that's a problem to West Ham because when we, when have you ever seen West Ham spend 120 million on anything? <laughs> that's very true. It's, it's just not going to happen. Yeah. And unfortunately, it's not going to happen. So um, I will think that will be, be an interesting one. They don't spend a lot anyway. It's, they spend your 10, 20 millions, you know. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Uh, not a yeah. huge issue. It's not huge, no. But there's a few boys who's going to have to leave West Ham. I mean, the boy Downs and that, I think he'll get, he's got to go and get game time somewhere. Yeah. Where? Um, he's, he's on a boy, he's brought through West Ham, but he's, um, he needs to play every week. For and sure. Other, so it'll be interesting to see what, what goes on, but I wouldn't worry about the fair play because that's not going to come into West Ham's thinking.